Hello and welcome, dear passengers of the Potato Alliance. My name is Drentian and I will be your captain yet again for another potato journey. And today we're gonna be playing Artificer. Artificer, 175% explosion damage, 4% explosion size for every elemental damage, 100% damage, armor modifications are reduced by 50%, and well, Plank is just the best uh, item for him. Let me let me explain you something. What is explosive damage? It's it's some weapons are physical, like screwdrivers. Some are explosive types. Explosive types get 75% damage because of this, but physical get one because of this 100%. So yeah, example shredder is another explosive weapon, so it has damage. But because it's ranged, I'm not gonna get explosion size on him unless like I upgrade the weapon itself. So I try to like stay away from Shredder. It's good, but I always prefer uh, like Plank. But well, Plank is easy. Uh, let's play him Shredder this time. Why not? Let's play Shredder. So there's a there's a good side and bad side on choosing the Shredder for him. You're not gonna have that much big explosions and benefit from this. But Shredder is a fast weapon that you can get life steal on. And because you can't get life steal that much on the plank, it, it's just horrible. But on plank, you can buy items like Strange Book, and it doubles the damage. But, well, there is both disadvantages and advantages to both. But because I want to show you an easier way of winning the game on Artificer, let's go with Shredder. Shredder, Danger 5, let's go. And there's a certain reason why uh, Shredder is good actually for him, because uh, explosive weapons over explosive damage in general overrides damage percentage. So if you get range damage for the Shredder, Shredder is gonna get damage. But if you get like for example Plank, Plank scales really horribly at the start. Another Plank, uh, another Shredder I mean. Fertilizer, we're gonna keep that. Oh, dynamite. Awesome. And another shredder. And give me another one. Thank you. Okay, fantastic. I'm gonna explain why dynamite is pretty damn cool for him. Let's go. Wave two. Like, uh... Here's the fun fact about potato. It's not always what you gonna get for your character that defines your path and your log like stat logic in the game. It's sometimes what you're not gonna get for your character. For example, like, even though, like, this character's, like, best thing that's going on for him is elemental damage gives you explosion size. But it doesn't necessarily mean that you need to take it. Like, you can get bigger explosions from, like, let's say, items. Another Shredder. Okay, uh, five. Okay, I can still buy it. Let's roll. Okay, fertilizer. Melee damage less, harvesting more. And well, let's go. And dynamite. Dynamite directly gives damage to your weapon because it's an explosive type. So this is just 15% more damage directly to the weapon. So it doesn't even like take into consideration this. It just gives more damage to it. So dynamite is the best item you can buy for Artificer. Period. Like number one is dynamite. Number two is alloy. Alloy and Dynamite are the best items that you can buy for this character. But right now, we are on wave 3 and I haven't taken any range damage. And because of that, my damage will suck in general. Because Shredder is not your, let's say, big mob killer. Shredder is an area control weapon. So it sucks at killing, like, bigger enemies. So we have to get a lot of damage if we want to do good with the Shredder itself. Uh, we need damage, but uh, armor is very scarce for him. Uh, let's look for range damage. Damage percentage isn't that good, but um, my hands are kind of tied here. At least we have like 10 damage now. Hedgehog, I will have to buy it because I'm missing a lot of damage on this weapon now. And we can't take butterflies because that will actually decrease your explosion size. Yeah. This is one another down, downside of this uh, weapon. You cannot buy butterflies on them. Let's go. Wave 4. Okay, now that we are doing 10 damage, it's going to get a little bit easier, but not too easy. Uh, we still need to take a lot more damage than this. Like, 10 is not nearly enough to do the job. 
And compared to the planks, like whenever I play planks, I I build a very slow tank that hits big. Uh, but Shredder, you need to make something that hits fast and it moves fast. So movement speed and attack speed are going to be crucial for us. Okay, here we need range damage. Like, definitely range damage. Attack speed is nice too. Let's take the attack speed. Okay, three more HP, dangerous bunny for free rolls, free roll, and another Shredder. Awesome. Okay, we got five guns. Nice. Wave 5 and 5 guns, that's pretty optimal, but if I don't get another gun, uh, like, till wave 7, it's gonna be harsh. Like, Shredder is already awful when it comes to, like, big mobs, and wave 7, you start getting the bigger mobs. And, well, if you don't have all of your weapons, good luck. Good luck. And as you can see, like, he is able to kill, but, well... Shredder scales really, really slowly, so we we have to be chill about it. Like don't 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 like judge a book by its cover. Shredder is a good weapon. Uh, six HP definitely, ten percent attack speed definitely, dynamite. That's a lot of. Oh my god, a level two Shredder, awesome. Had like look here, eleven damage, fifty percent, twenty one damage. And 65% chance of explosion. This is one of the good things about Shredder. Level 1 Shredder sucks, but when you upgrade them, Shredder actually gets good. Yeah. So try to upgrade your weapons at... Oh my god, another dynamite. Three dynamites. This is, this is my lucky day. I'm gonna buy that missile next time. Landmines are good too for him. But... Because I will not get size, this will not be that good. So let's ignore the landmines. And I buy landmines if I play him with planks. But I don't buy landmines on him uh, if I'm playing him shredders. And the reason is because whenever you're playing with planks, you can buy strange book. The strange book turns every point of your elemental damage into uh, engineering. So it makes your character just get double damage from every elemental damage because Plank is getting like 65 on legendary. It takes 65% of your elemental, melee, and engineering as a damage. So Strange Book just doubles the damage for the Plank, but that is not the case for the Shredder. Okay, nice. That's a lot of coins. Less elemental damage, as I said, like luck items take away uh, look at uh, anything that takes away elemental damage. We don't buy it. Three armor. Definitely going to take that. Uh, less attack speed. More damage. Sure. More luck. Less damage. We are kind of desperate for luck here. So we have to take it. Lemonade is good. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. This just got 100% better. And if you're playing Shredder, do not buy sharp bullets. Because Shredder is pure pierce damage. Unless you get a bandana, don't, don't, just don't. That that one is not worth decreasing your damage. Like, Shredder damage already sucks. Don't do things that decrease Shredder damage, uh, please. Like, don't do Shredder dirty. Like, Shredder is a good boy. But you have to be good to him first. Shredder can be a cruel weapon. And very punishing weapon. If you, if you don't respect its boundaries. Number one boundary of the Shredder. I'm just per personifying it's a weapon now. <laughs> I care about him. What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> I care about my weapons. I take care of them. I I give them their needs. They give me what my needs. It's a give and take. <laughs> we care about each other. That's my secret. <laughs> yeah. So number one boundary that you have to. Uh, respect on Shredder. Shredder sucks on damage, so don't do things that takes away damage from Shredder. Uh, let's take this harvesting here. Oh my god, another dynamite. Jesus, okay. Okay. Less armor, more crit. I'm gonna take that because Shredder damage sucks, but crit makes it a little bit better. Like, I know the crit chance isn't that high right now, but it counts. It really does. Oh, okay, a rocket launcher. That is good. 
And I'm gonna take this mutation because it gives elemental damage too. Uh, I don't care about the speed. Elemental damage will increase the size. Like, if I can increase the size of the explosions a lot on Shredder, that is gonna be awesome. Okay, we have a lot more damage now. A lot more damage. And the crit, honestly, 10% crit is not even that bad. It is good. So, now that I have the damage, kinda, uh... Oh, by the way, Shredder sucks on boss fights. So, yeah, don't count on your Shredder that much for killing bosses. Like, uh, if you don't kill bosses with Shredder, it's okay. It takes time to scale the weapon. So, don't don't even worry about the boss wave. Just have enough, like, steel and HP and HP regen just to be enough for you to survive it. Honestly. Like, if I have the damage, I'm gonna kill the boss, but, well, depends. Just depends. Because mummies, mummies are awful when you have Shredder. They just don't die that easily. Okay, 200, 280 coins. That's awesome. That's fascinating. Uh, I'm gonna get this HP here. I'm gonna get 12% speed, definitely, here. And another Shredder, more HP, more damage. And we combine these. And take the rocket launcher. Nice, nice. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, that's good. That is damn good. I don't play this character dodge. I buy assets for him, but because I want to focus on, uh, let's say, damage here. We are not. Yeah, here is the strange book. One engineering for every elemental damage. This is the best item you can buy if you are playing him uh, with planks. Don't skip it. This is simply the best item for him. Okay, now that I have this rocket launcher, I would really, really love to have a bandana. So the rocket launcher is gonna take care of my big enemies uh, for me. And the shredders are gonna be my small mob cleaners. And thankfully, thankfully, we have two horde waves. And guess what? Shredder loves horde waves like that's one of the good things about shredder shredder destroys like that enough attack speed and damage shredder just destroys re rips them apart rips the whole wave apart if you have enough attack speed and damage on it so just we are got we just got lucky and we have two horde waves coming so we will have to like ignore most of our defensive and just go offensive and offensive and offensive and offensive. All right, five hundred coins, cool. Uh, charcoal gives elemental damage, so we're gonna take it. Uh, hmm. Uh, life steal, HP. Less speed, more armor. Life steal, more enemies. Give me damage. Give me. Okay, there it is. My damage is here. Oh, okay. An attack speed. Awesome. 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 Shackles is pretty damn good. Shackles is pretty damn cool. But I don't have what it takes. And I don't want to have, like, uh,. Two level two rocket launchers, so I'm just gonna upgrade my rocket rocket launcher. And well, that damage, I'm gonna use this for my boss skills, and I'm gonna use these for my mob cleaners. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. Cool. Okay. Cool. And this is the fun part about playing Shredder uh, on this guy. There are two... I haven't... I don't have it unlocked yet, because we are doing the Iron Man challenge. But there are two very awesome weapons that you can play on this guy. Uh, number one... Number one is outright the Nuke Launcher. Nuke Launcher is the best weapon for this character, because Nuke Launcher takes damage from your both range damage and elemental damage. So, when you get elemental damage, you just nuke the whole map every single shot, which is just fantastic. But because we don't have the nuke launcher, we have to do with the rocket launchers here. But, well, 
Ah, uh, the fun part about uh, Artificer with ranged weapons is the fact that you can buy rocket launchers and uh, the damn nuke launcher. Uh, free landmines, sure. Why not? And uh, none of these. Oh, three range damage. Definitely gonna take that. And a shredder upgrade. Less damage, more crit. We're gonna take that. And okay, do I want two rocket launchers? Yeah, you know, two rocket launchers gives me 5% damage. So yeah, let's do that. Let's get our first legendary shredder, which will do 66 damage. And we take a rocket launcher. We got a... Oh my god, okay. Okay, that's cool. That is damn cool. Ugly toot, yes. None of those. Uh, missile, yes. Okay, let's go. Wave 11. Damn, this is awfully good. Like, uh, one of the things that uh, I, I did not like about the Artificer at the start was I always tried to play him with planks. But later it became a challenge to, can I, like, it's easier, it's easier to finish with ranged weapons on this character, but it's much harder on plank and melee weapons in general, unless you have the hammer or the power fist. So right now, if you are new to the game, uh, pick shredder, play uh, artificer with the shredder, it makes it much easier. But, 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 if you're a veteran, playing Plank Artificer is a challenge that you should go on to. It's a wild journey. But because I want to show people who are new to the game, like, as I said, like, Iron Man Challenge has two, two things. Like, number one is, well, uh, I'm actually going to buy this campfire for a little bit of bigger damage. And we're going to combine these. We're going to take the rocket launcher. We're going to take the missile. A tractor on wave 12 is pretty damn nice. I'm gonna buy that. One more. Okay, I'm not gonna roll anymore. Let's go, wave 12. So yeah, here's... Uh, like, I think I said this like before on one of the videos. But there are two things that is good about the Iron Man challenge. Iron Man challenge uh, shows new players how you can play the game like better, how you can like multitask, how you can improve your understanding of the stats and so on. And for veterans, it actually like provides a challenge. But well, for because there's a lot of new players that uh, just start the potato. On the Iron Man challenge, I'm trying to not take like heavy challenges on. I just want to show them how they can actually easily finish the game. Because Brotato just starts becoming more fun when you finish the game on all characters. You get new items, uh, you get a lot of item pools, there's a lot of new combinations that you can play the game on. So, well, yeah. It's, it's both good for veterans and old players as well. Uh, range attack speed, less lifesteal, sure, we take it. 15% attack speed, definitely gonna take that. Leech, lifesteal, HP regen, a lot of harvesting. Less armor, more crit. The boss wave is far, far away. So let's take sunglasses. Let's be even more offensive. None of these. Okay, alloy. Alloy is the perfect item for this character right now. Because it gives elemental damage and range damage at the same time. And plus crit. So I'm going to have bigger explosions with more damage. Let's go. Nice, nice. Alloy is the number two. Like, doesn't matter if you're playing plank. Or playing like Shredder on him. Alloy is simply, just simply the best, second best after Strange Book uh, item for this guy. This little guy really benefits from it. Alright, alright. Damn. I, I didn't expect him to get this much damage, but thanks to those di early dynamites that we bought for him, he has awesome damage. This is just good. This is damn good. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, free crate. Nice. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay, come on. Come on. Stay away from me. Oh, you're not supposed to hit me. 
And honestly, like the 15% damage that we're getting from the rocket launchers is really helping out here. Let's lock more HP and HP region, sure. Uh, armor, definitely. Now I have three armor, which is fantastic. We take alloy with no questions. I don't really play this character with dodge. I don't play like dodge on most of the characters that uh, are elemental. And this guy is no exception. I don't really want to sell my level 2 or mix these because I'm really enjoying this 10% here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell the shredder and take that level 2. None of those. Oh, there it is. Nice. And plastic explosive. 25% explosion size. Fantastic. Nice find. Nice find. I'm going to buy this shady potion next time. Okay, let's go. Wave 14. Look at the size of those explosions now. We got alloy plus plastic explosives. This cannot get any better. This just cannot get any better. But uh, I'll need to build up some HP because this guy doesn't get that much armor. So you have to make him tanky in some way. So my way of making him tanky is just life on, on Shredder. It's just lifesteal and just a lot of HP. But on Plank, it's a different story. Like, Plank is a pain. Plank is just awful compared to the Shredder when you play this character. Alright. Alright, like, as you can see, like, I didn't even push that much damage on him. But the Dynamites really just work much better for the Shredder than the Plank. Alright. Uh, early game, though. Early game. Like... Plank out DPSs, let's say Shredder, by a big gap. Oh my god, second plastic explosive. Look at the size of that thing. 103% explosion size. We're gonna take armor here. We're gonna take luck. Mutation for range damage and bigger explosions. Oh man. Oh my god. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Look at that explosion. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Oh, my God. Okay, this is bigger than Nuke Launcher. Like, this is this is exactly what I was talking about. But I said, like, the, the best weapon form is Nuke Launcher. Just because of those three plastic explosives. Right now, my rocket launchers have bigger explosion size than nuke launchers. <laughs> oh, fascinating. Fascinating. I can take on like 100% more enemies like this. Oh, wow. Just one shotting. Like, every every rocket launcher attack is despawning a full spawn uh, like group. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, I love this. <laughs> oh, this is lovely. Look at that. Jesus, look at the coins. Let's HP region more luck, sure. Uh, definitely gonna take range damage here. You can never have enough damage. Baby doesn't work that well because this 65% just makes it horrible. So that's a waste of coins, kind of. Less harvesting, more life steal, though. More damage. More damage, more damage. I don't even care about more enemies. Even more damage. Nice. <gasps> oh, boy. Okay, not even a tough choice, honestly. Like, I'm just gonna upgrade this to legendary, then I'm done with him. Head injury, yes. Dangerous bunny, yes. Next time. Okay, let's go. Wave 16. Oh, three legendary shredders is no joke. He is one-shotting bait. <laughs> he is one-shotting Bates now. Oh, damn. What a lovely boy. What a lovely potato. Oh, man. Oh, man. Look at that. Sheesh. That is too much damage. Be honest, that is just too much damage, man. He, he is two-shotting big big guys and one shot oh my god okay he just one shot to the bruiser <laughs> rocket launchers for the win baby rocket launchers for the win ah oh, 
damn. Hot damn. Okay, then, I, like, there is something always satisfying about explosion size. Like, whoever says that size doesn't matter, maybe he's right, maybe she is right. But, well, when it comes to explosives and explosions, size matters, okay? Size matters. Attack and speed, crit, sure. Uh, Blood Leech, we gonna buy that? Oh, Power Fist. This is another, like, big item for him. Like, the Power the power Fist is just awesome. Like, once I remember I had... I think I had three Plasma Hammers and two Power Fists on this guy. He was crushing it. He was just crushing it. Oh, well. <clears throat> Well, shame. Maybe, maybe another on another occasion we play him with melee weapons and try to try to get him into power fist and plasma hammer. I I did it once on our live stream. I I got him the plasma hammers and the power fist. It was awesome. I I think he even went endless with it because it was just so fun. Damn. Ah, oh, damn. That is too much explosion size. That is honestly too much explosion size. Uh, now, as you can see, like, he is, is still not good. Like, he is crushing every mob, but Shredders are just awful when it comes to mummies. Yeah, unless, unless like, you get a good deal on, let's say, early knockback boxing glove, it's always gonna suck. I know, like, this guy has armor negation, it's hard to get armor on him, but this 25% damage is no joke. And, well, 4 armor. Wow. That was, that was something. What a trade. What a trade. Well, we don't need shredders anymore, so I'm not gonna even bother. Well, there, there it is. Knockback. And dodge and crit. I don't fancy it, but, well, crit is good. Ah, uh, more HP and HP regen. Free rolls, free roll. Crown, no. Metal, however, I will take that. Okay, let's go. Wave 18. Let's fight a boss. Okay, you are not... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. 22 damage. Wow. Okay, don't get even near me. Don't come even close to me. <laughs> I am really a glass cannon. <laughs> oh boy. 22 damage. Yeah, with 4 armor, that's naturally what happens. Well, the glass cannon paid off. <laughs> I have officially become a paper cannon. Glass cannon. Oh boy. I, I need more armor and HP. Like, the last bosses are gonna be problematic because I don't have enough attack speed to life steal back my HP. So I either need to take like 20 more percent of life steal or get like 30, 40 more HP. Or this is gonna suck on me 20. Oh, there it is. Five armor. Did I have just have to ask? Armor, crit, engineering, speed? Sure. Eh, even more armor. Yes. I need one more point in armor. Just one more point. And there it is. Eight armor. Fantastic. Perfect. Just perfect. Etsy's couch is god awful for him. Oh, there she is. There she is. My beauty. My beautiful rocket launcher. Oh, boy. I'm gonna have one legendary rocket launcher. Now we are... 100% sure. Now we are just 100% sure that we gotta have at least one legendary rocket launcher for the last fight. Fascinating. Just fascinating. And one thing about, uh, like, if you, like, one of the good things about the rocket launcher is when you get pierced for your rocket launchers. But this guy gets so much explosion size from the elemental damage. That he honestly doesn't need Pierce on the rocket launchers to be OP. Because, well, you just explode in such a big radius that you just even, you don't even need to Pierce to get more value out of every shot. 
it's just too big. Like, it's massively big. Oh damn, 800 coins. Nice. A thousand coins. Vandering bot for free, sure. Uh, we're gonna take range damage, why not? Uh huh. More enemies and more damage, sure. Let's take our. Okay, look at the damage difference between a legendary. Like, look. 158. 230. 338. 338 damage. Legendary rocket launcher is big. Legendary rocket launcher is a monster. The statue is pretty damn nice for him. Yeah, I have the speed. I can spare some speed. Uh, let's take it. That's gonna take me to 100% attack speed. HP and HP region, sure. None of those, none of those, none of these. I don't want the barricade. Wisdom is pretty cool. Yeah, with Wisdom, I'm gonna be over 100%. Over zero. Yeah. Nice. Okay, let's go. Wave 20. Come at me, bro. Come at me, man. Okay, here's the thing about the... The thing... You can't lifesteal that well. So, you just have to stay away from them. And don't get hit, honestly. Okay, that's one down. Thanks for the huge damage. And that is two down. There we go. For finishing the game on Artificer on any difficulty, you get explosive shells. 60% damage on explosions and 15% explosion size, but you get negative 50% damage. It's okay. It's one of the best items in the game, especially if you are playing Endless. If you haven't liked, the sub uh, liked and subscribed the video, please do so. Only 6% of my uh, viewers are subscribed to the channel, so please follow the channel. That would really, really help me out. And, well, hoping to see you on the next video. Randy it out!